Hey, what's up everybody? Hopefully my lights aren't blinding you. I am attempting a catch and cook video uh, out on the lake, my first one of the year. First time you've seen me in my hut. I got started late, like I got a really bad headache, bunch of crap, it's not good. Got a couple holes in here, but essentially I'm gonna jump outside, try and catch a couple crappies, a couple bluegills maybe. I'll fish, I think, till after dark a little bit. Maybe we'll get lucky, get a walleye. Just gonna do some hole hopping, so on and so forth. I brought all that stuff there to try and cook some fish, cook some taters. Uh, yeah, but well, I have like 45 minutes maybe until dark, an hour. I'm gonna drill some holes and try and catch some fish. That way we have something to cook. Let's do it. little bluegill. I think it's something we can fry up tonight. Giant? No. We're not looking for giants. We're looking for something to eat. Oh. Get back down there because there's more fish down here. big they are. Probably 11 and three quarter, close to 12. So we're gonna keep him as well. And that'll be all the fish I need for my little fish fry. Nice. Got him. Ooh. eat so we're gonna put 
that big mama back in the lake. Got him big. This thing is huge. This thing is huge. I'm gonna have to bump measure this one on my bump board if I can get him up. Three millimeter, huh? Ooh, duh. Yeah, we're gonna go measure this one on the bump board. Okay. Look at that giant. Just wanted to get him out of the wind. He was it's like 25 out, but still. Look at that big fish. I'm gonna enter him in a fish donkey tournament quick. Darn near 14 inches. That's what 13 point. Boom. Turn around. Get a release video quick. And get out of here. Freaking tank, boys. Well, we got a couple sunfish and a crappie we're going to fillet up here. Um, and while we're doing that, I got a Sullivan tip now and I'm just going to put down here. I mean, I don't know, I'm probably in like 22 feet. Maybe get lucky and pull another crappie or a big walleye. I know there's some walleyes in this lake. Ooh, my headache has not gone away though. That's uh, the unfortunate part. So, just loosen this drag up really good. I'll I'll probably I'll most likely see it dropping anyway, so it's not a big deal. Move this right back to about there, I'd say. There we go. Got that. It's about a foot and a half off the bottom. There we go. We'll, we'll even bring it up a little bit more. Probably gonna get my move my chair back here even. I got a lot of stuff going on. I got blades that I changed out. My six inch auger. Um, we're gonna put those in here somewhere. I'll just put them in there for now. We'll just dump the rest of that in there for now. I'm just trying to get this whole situation rolling. Oh, I thought I had a bite already. I was going to say, holy crap. A bag over here. <clears throat> Get all my stuff. Got my little Bunsen burner here. I literally um, went to the store looking for a bigger one. They just don't have one. So, that's unfortunate, but good news is there's no wind in here, so it's not like everything's going to get blown around. Got one pan here. I'm actually going to do my potatoes first. I'm going to keep an eye on my thing back there. I got all kinds of crap in here. There's my other pan. I even got butter. You guys have got butter in here. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh, I got no, but I didn't bring any salt and pepper though. Oh, darn it. Might as well not even do it now. 
potato salt, salt and pepper. I guess I guess the butter will do the trick, but still. I always gotta have something really bad for me. Kitchen cooks are usually a lot cleaner. But I was just trying to throw this together. Quick. I'm just gonna put some butter in here. I'm gonna buy a nice tub so I can do some better, like not better, just have to be more prepared. It's like a tote that I can put everything in. Like that. Got a knife here. You know, I do have a table here. I gotta make sure and those those three those are three fish we got. We got two bluegills and a crappie. But I got my got my knif here. Just got a just got a few potatoes. That I'm gonna cut up in some small pieces. I think I can just grab like three or four of them is all that I had to use up. They're starting to grow eyes on them. I think that's what everybody calls them, or that's what I call them anyway. Sprouts or whatever. Well, guys, that means we're just getting almost past there. Good day. But I'm just going to chop these guys up and put them in the pan, okay? All right. Potatoes are in the pan, ready to start cooking them. Um, I'm actually putting all my food on this bump or on this board when I'm done. So I gotta clean these fish quick and wash the board off and I'll get those potatoes going. Here's our fish, here's a crappie. He's probably a little bigger than I usually keep. Yeah, oh gosh, he's almost 12 and a half. Bigger than I thought. I threw that really big one away. Huh, well, I'm gonna flame him up. All right, well, I got the fish cleaned up and I got the potatoes. There we go. I washed my I washed my board off in the lake. You can see scales kind of floating down, but I have my fish remains. I'm not going to show you. You can kind of see right there. I got them over there. That way, uh, you know, you 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 have to keep whatever you ate on the lake. You know, it's part of your limit. So I'm keeping that there. Still got the shiner down really hoping for something to bite um and then right here we have the fish just kind of simmering in that and then i'm going to put all the potatoes and stuff on there when we're done so now it's kind of a weeding game you guys update potatoes take forever been having a few fish come up and look at my golden shiner over here but nothing is biting so maybe a big crappie or a walleye would come through i mean they're definitely in here so we are still waiting for the potatoes and then on to the fish new update fish is done had some had some high flyers on the on the little golden shiner they're coming up I think they're big bluegills though. Big crop, you would eat that shiner by now. But got this masterpiece right here on the cutting board. Let's see if I can maybe there we go. I'll turn my camera light on. So I'm gonna just show you here. So this is this is that like 12 and a quarter inch crappie right here. Okay, normally I don't keep them that big. But that one was bigger than I thought. It was just something. Something all over me. Look at it. Anyway, so that's that 12 and a quarter inch crappie. I like to usually sew those back. Here's some of those bluegills. These were 8 inch bluegills, okay? I'm going to tell you that an 8 inch bluegill actually gives you a pretty good bite of meat. I already ate one, sorry. Ooh. Going for it. Hmm. I've already ate one, but... I definitely prefer the smaller panfish because they just they taste so good and it's you know it gives you a really good like breading to meat ratio you know I don't I don't like to taste a whole bunch of fish I like you know like the fish taste with a little breading mixed in there 
and it's fantastic stuff. So we got my uh, staring at that rod over there. It's fish. It's a big fish. This is really good. Mm-hmm. If it were to, if a fish was going to be eat my shiner, it would eat it while I'm trying this fish. It's all over it. I don't have my GoPro on me. Hmm. Look at that. It's a big fish too. Look at that. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Didn't bring a fork because I'm classy like that. Some of these potatoes, no salt on them. But I'm going to tell you, they're not horrible. Butter made them taste pretty good. I do like a little bit of seasoning salt on them, though. Gotta have it. It's bad for you. It's the best part. Hmm. This fish is just pestering my shiner. Well, anyway, um, for you guys that are that are wondering, um, I was just using Magic Fry on these fish, so something that everybody can get at the store pretty much. This is a shortage because there was a shortage last year of ingredients to make it, so I didn't get any for like six months. But I was using my uh, LX7 earlier to fish with my Precision Noodle. Is, kind of just hanging out right there right now I've just been relaxing um Dakota lithium or not Dakota lithium um ice hole power box right there powering my lights I got two lithium batteries in there thing is fantastic I'm gonna make sure and put the ice hole power box link in there I used it last year to power everything I mean this is you know this is it's dark outside and it and it lights everything up you know those otter lights do um yeah well this video is coming out a little bit late in the evening you guys i'm li actually literally shooting at the night that i'm posting it so i might come over at eight o'clock i don't know i'm gonna hurry up and eat this stuff and if you see some bonus footage it's me catching that fish thanks for watching peace out I was angry.